What is up, my tubers? Welcome back to another draft here on Arena. We got some more Lord of the Rings ahead of us. Thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to check out cardkingdom.com slash Numat for all of your magic card needs. Shout out to our buddies, Eric and Jennifer. We met them, my wife and I met them at um, a birthing class last night. So shout out to them. Pretty funny. Anyways, Mary Esquire of Rohan are open. Do I want to just first pick this and like force red white? I don't know. Is this even that good? Not particularly. Faramir's probably better. Whenever you attack with Mary and another legendary creature, draw a card. So you really need a lot of ways to back this up because how frequently is it 2 2 going to be attacking very well, you know? Can't say I've done too much red white aggro in this format, but eh, whatever. Let's take it. Let's see what happens. Getting past a king of the oath breakers, a common is missing. I am not sure what common you would really. T I mean, I guess some of the removal spells that are like individually colored you would take, but. We are going to take the king for sure. Bath song, birthday escape. Oh, there's a great hall. Maybe we can wield a great hall. We all know how this is going to turn up, though, don't we? As we get a third. Okay, wait. Hold, hold the phone. We're getting King of the Oathbreakers path to us into a Denethor path to us. Another great hall of the Citadel. So, in a perfect world, we would wield both of these great hall of the Citadels. Because this is a pretty nice start. That is not a legendary card I'm going to take, though. We have a Took Reaper here. A Many Partings. Let's go deep. We said this on yesterday's video. In fact, we've been saying this on quite a bit of the most recent videos. But at this point in the format, I'm basically over drafting correct. And instead, I kind of just like doing five color soup. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Rewarded here with the Frodo Baggins fifth pick now. Passing a Pathfinder. No, this is exactly, exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, God. <laughs> Don't draft like this. These are the pickings of a beaten man. Truthfully, I think the only bad pick was Mary. If I had taken Faramir, we'd actually have a pretty insane start as Faramir with Denethor is pretty sick. Faramir with Frodo is really sick. So, I'm actually getting extremely punished for not taking... Fer in fact, we could have went Faramir into King, into Denethor, into Frodo, which would have been the absolute nuts. But, is what it is. Please, can we get those Great Halls of the Citadel on the wheel? Please, 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 and thank you. There's another Pathfinder, which we're going to take. I'm guessing Mary's going to get the shave here. Passing a Wizard's Rockets would be all right. Oh, God, I thought that was a great Hall of the Citadel for a second. Instead, we get this garbage. I guess the Shalab's Ambush isn't a bad trick. It's pretty good with the Frodo as well. Hobbit Sting, Westfold Rider, and Enraged Horn, all good. This is pick eight. Next pack is the one where we would start seeing the Great Halls, I think. No. Was there a Great Hall in our Faramir Mary pack? Maybe there wasn't. Landreval, though, for another random. I don't think Landreval's all that good, though. I'd almost rather just take like the Mirror Mirror Guardian here. Let's do that. All right, next couple of packs should have the Great Halls, if they wheel. And if they do, we feel good. If they don't, we... We're still fine. Good Abzan start. Damn, somebody took it. Not nice. There should have been one here. I guess there could still be another one coming around. Nope, didn't wheel either of them. Dang it. Okay, well... You can't expect them to come back around, but it would have been nice if they did, because then we could think about going the full-on 
random five color um, legendaries, but just a lot of filler garbage to round out the pack. All right, pack two, we go. Lotho, the Corrupt Sheriff. Damn, look at those black cards here. Lotho, Gothmog, March, Mustard, Dunlin, Troll. Do we want to stick with the Legendary plan and take the Gothmog? I think Gothmog is actually pretty comparable to Crabane. Gothmog's really, really good with like the Denethor too, with all the tokens, right? No matter what, we're kind of sending a weird sign, but I'm okay with that. <laughs> Getting past a King of the Oathbreakers, pick two from both the left and the right. Another Dunlin Crabane. Passing back-to-back -back Crabanes is strange, but sure, why not? Huh. This pack is pretty weak for us now. Morgul knife wound for like some bad fixing. I mean bad removal rather, not fixing. Suppose we could take the bow. Goes kind of well with the Frodo, not bad on King of the Oathbreakers. That's something that should wheel though. In fact, I'm probably gonna wheel any of these on color cards anyways, so it's not a huge deal which one I take. The Black Breath, Eastmark Cavalier, yikes. Not getting the cards we want. I guess another Mirror Mirror Guardian is okay. Hmm. Pretty brutal second pack so far. Okay, Aaron Rider's good. So is another Many Partings. I think here I'm going to value the many partings over the rider just because none of the Great Hall of the Citadels wield. So getting the fixing I think makes more sense. Another really weak pack for us. There's a chance we play the dogs, but unlikely. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. There's another Aaron Rider. Nice. Good pickup. With legendaries, this is just a 3-mana three 3-2 three, draw card, right? And even if you don't have a legendary, looting in a sense is nice. Protector of Gondor is also good. More token synergy for the Gothmog. Okay, and the two drop wheel, that's fine. So are we heavier black white than we are green now? No, we're still probably green white splashing black. Or at least green's gonna be one of our mains so that we can uh, play the many partings for fixing. Revive the Shire could be okay. Man, Coral's End and Glorious Gale on the wheel kind of sucks. Lots of good blue and red this pack. But I'm not concerned. We have a full pack three to go. We actually have a fine start, so... Give me the goods! The goods! Call of the Ring! Shadow Summoning! The third Crobane that we've seen. Call of the Ring is extremely strong, it's just really slow. But, we'll take it. Into another Pathfinder looks good here. Rise of the Witch King could be okay. I think we want the two drop, the good two drop that fixes. 
I guess I don't have a big oomph card right now, do I? Probably should look to pick up any of the land cyclers that are on color. Well, we got them, but we also have a great Hall of the Citadel. Sheesh. Actually, there are three of the land cyclers in this pack. The Eagle, the Revealed, and the Ent. Oh, this is kind of a tough pick. I want the Ent. I want the Great Hall. Those are my top two choices, and then the Eagle's like third. I was just saying I did want a big creature, so... I guess the Ent makes sense here. And it's kind of like fixing. Damn, look at that. War of the Last, Alliance, March from the Black Gate, another Denethor. This doesn't actually look too terrible in our deck. It's just a little bit funny. It's probably better to take a second Denethor for consistency. Ooh, Samwise the Stouthearted is also a nutty pickup. Very good. Okay. Well, this is coming together. Another Shadow Summoning if we wanted to. Great Hall of the Citadel. Jeez. Where pack one, or sorry, where pack two was terrible, pack three is giving us everything we want. I would have the most busted straight up black white deck had I just stayed black white straight. Fog rise. We don't have the best deck for Rise of the Witch King. But it's probably not terrible. I guess I don't have much removal though, so maybe Fog is still correct. Because Rise of the Witch King isn't targeted removal, right? It can be really awkward. Man, all those late Lorien reveals going around too. The Dunedain Blade. We do have eight humans. I mean, that's a way to turn all of our small stuff into more relevant things since we don't have, like I said, that much top end. Not going to play any of those. Sixteen lands like that seems okay. Hey, maybe fifteen lands now. Eagle and too many partings. I could see running 15 lands here. That wouldn't be crazy. And our curve's really low. Right? If you consider these as one mana spells, our curve goes down to like 2.5 or less. Or thereabouts, anyway. All right, I kind of dig it. Let's run 15 lands. Right? Need to go heavier on the green, though. Maybe four and four. Eh, I feel a little bit more comfortable running 16, I guess. Maybe the blade's not worthwhile anymore. Alright. Looks fun. Don't know if it's going to be good, but looks fun. Let's take this for a spin, go to round one. Abzan Walkers. Okay, turn two Call of the Ring. Remember, that by itself doesn't do much, because you need creatures to draw extra cards. But it will uber tempt you. I guess we want to actually lead with either Plains or Swamp in case we draw Shadow Summoning. Oh, Plains is actually the best starter, because that casts Shadow Summoning or Frodo, depending on. Didn't matter there. Call into Mirror Mirror into King of the Oathbreakers looks alright. Opponent with a turn 
two survivor. <laughs> and they just quit. Maybe I'm the best. The best in the world. They must have been missing lands or something. I don't know. Maybe they just don't want to play against Call of the One Ring. One O easy. Game two. We are on the draw. Sans Ite. We have a green source in the form of the Ent. Blue, green, Mary. Okay. Turn two, Mary's going to start generating some food. Oh, that was a good draw. We'll go with Shadow Summoning turn two instead of playing out the forest. Into an Arwen, okay. Arwen might be a bit of a problem, depending on how much scry they have. That's going to give a 1-1 one, one counter already. Two bottom, one top. Oh, and it wasn't a creature they put on top either. I'm not going to block. It's just so risky if they have the 3-2 flash. That scries for one. Glorious Gale, you got me. Another way to scry. All right, let's go for it. Good. That at least gets a little bit of problem off the battlefield. Don't like the flood we've started now, though. I'm debating if I want to sack one of my flyers to um, activate the Denethor, but I think the flying creature is more relevant, right? I get to kill my Denethor next turn with the fight of the fall, though, which kind of sucks. Ah, they get another pump here. Looks like we're probably losing this one. There's the king. That's not bad. But 
the king would get punched by the fall, so it actually doesn't work for us to uh, play it out. Because this is only when it's targeted by a spell, not by an ability. Oh yeah, we're dead. So I'm going to take 10 damage here. That's a beating. Not sure we have any outs to this. Take a draw step and then probably just concede. Alright, GG's. GG's. I know that was just one game, but I'm wondering if I should go back down to 15 lands. Probably. And just get one more random spell in the deck. I don't think adding another combat trick's bad in a deck like this, actually. Let's do that. We'll go down to 15. Inevitably, I'll get mana screwed now, but whatever. We do have a lot of mana sources in the deck. Like 15 lands, 2 land cyclers, too many partings, 2 pathfinders or whatever, 1 pathfinder. See? Cut a land, profit. I might very well get punished here. Um, because I didn't lead on planes, right? So now if I draw Shadow Summoning, I can't cast it. Red, green. We're going to keep the food for now since we have Hobbit Sting somewhere in our deck. Three life is not super relevant right now, right? Ooh, we might play, be playing against a multicolor Legends deck too. Okay, two and pass. The Doors of Durin! Alright, good luck. Bottom two. And they hit an Arwen. Oh, that's unlucky. Unlucky for us that they hit, I should say. But I am putting on pressure. The awkward thing here is that um, I don't have a good blocker except for the Denethor, which I don't think I was supposed to leave back. So they just get to keep attacking if they want to here. Okay... I think that's an easy flicker now, instead of steel. Oh, they top something. Let's see what it is. A Balrog! <laughs> so opponent is living the dream over there. Come on. Wow. Can't tell if we're just getting very unlucky or they're getting very lucky. Maybe a little bit of both, huh? That doesn't do it. Alright, I'm not dead on board, but I'm pretty close.
If I can get rid of my guardian and then hit a creature with doors of Durin, I will die. Alright, they did top something. Elrond, sure. They keep hovering cards in their hand, too, so they must have a kill spell already. Yep, good beats. Alright, well. I'd say that was more them drawing well than anything, but... I can't complain. They got to do the thing. And now we're 1-2. and two. On to game four. Yeah, that's a keeper. We have the planes in hand. So awkwardly, again, I'm in that position where I cannot, no matter what I do, because I always have to lead with the planes um, in order to enable both the potential turn two Frodo or turn two shadow summoning. So I'll just play forest first. If we draw Frodo, great. If we draw Shadow Summoning, sucks. Looks like in this case, it will not have mattered. Can go grab another white source here over black, right? Yeah. Turn to Watcher. Oh, man. Drawing a second swamp there was super bad. That's almost half of our lands already. That is half our lands. Sheesh. There we go. Spells good. I don't think I'm supposed to offer Denethor for both of those things. Alright, Stern Scolding? What's in their hand? I guess they have a, uh... Ah, sure, a land cycling. So they must have really needed that land because they were able to cast that Lorien with any land off of the survivor anyways. Another Kingfisher, that's fine. It's not the worst draw in the world. Now they can't double block the king. Next turn we'll have enough mana to activate the Pathfinder too. Oh, don't use that. Nope, that's really bad, because now we just sack it to the Denethor. They fizzle their Deceive, and we get a 1-1. One, one. I guess it might not have been getting much better, but... Denethor really made that an unfortunate... event. So they're doing this main phase, presumably, to be able to attack with their Watcher, I would guess? Okay. We don't really care if the 1-1 one, one gets eaten because it's getting replaced from the Denethor trigger anyways. Yeah, I guess they just weren't paying attention to the Pathfinder activation. We'll take it. A win's a win, after all. And on to the next game we go. Game 5. This is the important two to three wins. And the hand looks good.
So here I don't mind playing the forest in the many partings turn one because we have Pathfinder or Rider turn two. So even if we drew Shadow Summoning, that wouldn't be that big of a deal. Though I guess I don't even have a black source anyways without using the many partings. Another green red, okay. Oh, there's Frodo. Um, no, it's probably still better to go Pathfinder here. And then I can go two two drops next turn. Oh, they're gonna punch? Sure, that's fine. Oh yeah, Call of the Ring with Frodo is pretty sick. Improvised club. We can protect our Frodo. They can attack and offer the trade if they want to. But our Frodo, I think, is a little bit more important, especially since we have so much food anyways. I don't mind trading here if they want. Annoying, but fine. Bright side is they don't get to uh, loot yet, so. And since we have two food, I don't mind paying a little bit of life. Oh, they messed up. If they had played that first, they would have been able to uh, get an extra 1-1. One, one. I think I'm going to discard the Gothmog. And go Shadow Summoning plus Hold Up Food Sacrifice. Because I'm going to take another two from the uh, Flamesmith here. But I think we want to keep both removal spells. Hopefully they don't have too many more ways to utilize the fall. Okay. That is way too many green sources. Wow, 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 that is really unfortunate. Okay. All right, easy block here. Guess I'm going to sting this. Spiteful banditry. Jeez. They get a treasure and a 2 2? Really? And what are my draws? This is insane. That's eight of our nine. Nine of our land? Nine of our 15 lands? Bro. And they can activate the fall now, too. I mean... The crappy thing is, if I fall the token, which I'm going to do... Um, if I fog the token, which I'm going to do, it turns it into a spirit, remember? 
So if they use fall and kill something else, it's going to make another army for them. Ugh. And then they draw... Then they draw end off the top? Come on! <laughs> Alright, well, what can you do? These drafts are just for fun. We're trying silly things. I mean, all three of those losses were kind of abysmal. I think the deck was solid. Could have used a little bit more removal, maybe one more win con, but... That definitely wasn't a bad deck, but it just had a bad result. Alright, thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you back tomorrow for some more. Bye-bye.